again everyone, nice to see you. Bit different this, isn't it? <laughs> We've been away to Cornwall. Had a great time. And a huge bonus was uh, what you're looking at. Absolutely superb. And it took a lot of our time up. No time to get bored. It was excellent. So that's what we've been doing for a little while. But now onto this video and we're going to do a bit more narrowboat maintenance. Not the hull like previously. We're talking about the cabin sides and a few other bits and pieces uh, like fenders, bow and stern I'm talking about and perhaps a few other bits as well. So rather than me go on I'll pass it on to this quite handsome looking chap. So over to this good guy. Break time now. Nice cup of tea to be made. Yorkshire gold, obviously. And then back to it. Certainly got a bit of a sweat on getting uh, all the boat done. There's one thing that we will never neglect, if possible, and that's boat maintenance. So many people leave it. Let rust develop or don't do necessary maintenance to keep a boat looking good. You might not be that way, you know, you might not be that way inclined to do it. But we do, we love it. And it's why our boat looks absolutely superb. And uh, we'll all, we always will. Once you let rust take hold or do lack of maintenance for any little bits you need to do, you know, then it's a, a lot bigger job to uh, to get it right. And as you can see, like I've done a few videos now of it, uh, it looks pristine again. Uh, it's not been, we, we weren't maintaining it as good as what we used to do because of COVID, obviously, and the, the lockdown and getting our cottage We've been doing work up there so we had to get back because we love our boat we had to get back and get it back to looking its best and it certainly is now and later this evening a beautiful bottle of wine for us to open and enjoy 15% because it's old vines they tend to be a bit uh, a bit rougher and uh, you know a little bit thicker and heavier but absolutely gorgeous so that's our reward for this evening well i better go and make this cuppa and get back to it or bernadette will be shouting at us <laughs> so speak to you later to make a good job of uh, the cabin and the the roof etc it's important for us to have decent things to do the job correctly and we have a lot of it which we store away and bring out as required first things first when your boat's quite dirty <laughs> we just wash it down give it a good wash down get it all sprayed on we have a, a spray a little bit makes it a bit more powerful to do to do it and that's before we start to clean it unbelievably and we've seen it a lot we see people using brushes i don't mean a brush for painting brushes for the sides to brush it canal water using canal water to so-called clean it with all the grit what it has in it just amazes why bother 
because you're only causing damage. Do it properly if you're going to do it. That's what we've learned over the years and that we're just passing on our knowledge to anybody who's watching. The right stuff, get it done, a bit of patience and you'll reap the rewards later. That's for certain. Bernadette's the one who likes cleaning it. She loves cleaning the boats with the, get the hose pipe on and spraying it. She absolutely loves it. So I'll let her do it then. If she likes doing it, that's fine by me. And all I know is she does a very good job when she does. So that's the first thing. Get it cleaned properly before you start doing anything else. With our boat being sprayed in two pack, uh, just, that's like a car, a car paint. That's very hard and lasts a long time. I think at this paint job's coming up to seven years now and it still looks absolutely stunning. And paint, though it can look nice, because of all the impurities, what gets taken out or have been taken out over the years, uh, they don't last as long. It just doesn't last as long. It fades quicker and and cracks and stuff. And and it's not it, you know. The only advantage is it's easier to touch that up. But I've got a format which I'll show you later in the video what I do, and it works all right. So we've got a bit of painting to do to get uh, rid of all the little inevitable knocks and things what happen it's important for us to get them done before particularly before winter so you can you, we get a, a really uh, a really good job done now i mentioned about polish and and wax now whatever you do silicon free is your polishing wax because silicon is not very good for putting paint on if you've got that on you need to get that off and it's hard on a boat it becomes a huge job getting it off so silicon free looks after your paint now like i say the only part we'll polish up and that's because it's inevitable this red or purples particular they do mark easy and fade they get watermark particularly on the rails and that we've got red on the boat some people say why but it makes it look nice it does it and if you have to do a bit of work touching it up now and then fair enough but it, it does i would never have red on the cabin sides because that's a big section what when it fades it does stand out you know what same with purples and to some extent blues as well so the only polish we'll put on to bring it back a bit is the red Everything else will only wax. If you continually polish your sign writing, because it's something called one shot, if it's done properly, um, eventually it comes off and it thins down and, you, it's, and it needs doing again. Unless you, unless you put a varnish on, but that, if you put a, a lacquer or a, a varnish coat, that's a continual job as well. So that's how we do. Wax on everything apart from the red occasionally, once a year, we'll use a we'll use the the polish. Now, what do we use? There's two. And again, I'll just show you. I've talked about one in particular. The Maguire's Professional Mirror Glaze uh, Silicon Free Wax. We think that's better than the Karn Uber. We used to get Karn Uber but we think this is better because it's easy to go on and off. And the other one now we use is Bullet for the polishing. That's, uh, that works very well and comes off easier because some, some are awful to get off. Well, that's the way it is. So polishing, we've cleaned the boat. We do the polishing, the waxing, making sure that the areas were, I've got a little bit of work to do we don't put anything on that even though the wax you can actually paint over if you wanted bullet no 
but the wax if you did. So we never put any sort of polish round, so it allows me to do my maintenance tasks as well. These are all things we've learned over the years. Before we carry on, I thought I'd interrupt. We've told you how we polish and wax the boat and clean it, but I forgot to say what we use when we're cleaning uh, our boat. And again, it's from Maguire's and it's, it, they describe it as when you do the paintwork, it shampoos and conditions it. Whether it does, I don't know, but I do know it's great for, for uh, what we do and we've used it for years. So I just thought that'd be a, another recommendation. And again, I'll put the website below as well. So uh, I hope that's useful. Now we'll continue with the vlog. That's how we do our bits and pieces. And hopefully as I'm going through this video, you'll get a, you'll get a decent idea what I'm, or we are, that's sorry to say, I'm, Bernadette does a lot of work for maintenance as well. She thrives on it. So both of us uh, make a, a good job of it and reap the rewards and get the enjoyment later. When we're doing our touch up bits and pieces on the boat, like I said, we won't do a big panel because if you start doing panels, it'll always look patchy. But we do do little little sections, which you, you, you'll be very hard to see when I've done them. But uh, the companies we, we use, the paint companies, they're all pretty good what we prefer, you know, what we, we use. Because we've tried many over the years. But I'll try to give you the details. Well, I will give you the details. Try. <laughs> I will give you the details. Number one, we have Paragon, Paragon Paints. Now we've used their, their paints quite a bit and they've been excellent. Now, that's not a company really that well known, but uh, the paint is really good and you'd have no issues if you got that. And the size of the pots. And the size of the pots as well, yes. Yeah, you can get small ones as well as the uh, the litres and the two litres and the two and a half litres. You can get small ones as well. So that's one company. And again, I'll keep putting the logo there and the, and the website details if you're interested. Now another company is Symphony. They again provide all your paints you want and is again a good company and uh, you'd have no issues there. Then we move on to a couple of the big boys as I call them. Craftmaster, well known. Uh, their paints again, like the other ones, British standards. Uh, they do a standard range. They do all the rowels. And they'll do special ones if you want, and the other, co you know, the other companies will as well. And the other one is Epiphanes. Now they are very good as well. I think we are we're starting to like those paints at the moment. But like I've said, all those what we've named are excellent, and you won't have uh, many problems with them. But like I've said, they're our choices, and of course. It's only for small areas, not for big areas. Because I, what, oh, what we both don't like is seeing patchwork, what we call patchwork on boats, where the colour has faded and people's painted or things like that, and it doesn't look right. But uh, that's just what we do. So you'll have a, a bit of an idea with that. When we're cleaning all our boat as well, we we have obviously we have decent chamois for drying off. You know, it's not worth having a, a cheap one. You want one what actually does a good job and uh, makes life easier. And that's what we use. And then we've got microfiber cloths and lint-free cloths used for cleaning and polishing once we've dried it all. No use getting all little bits of fluff all over or any any cloths what I've got 
gritting or anything or you're scratching your paint so we always make sure that they're in decent condition and they're always very clean and ready for action so that's what our preference is the other thing we do as well if we're doing any painting we always make certain the masking is done well and it's decent masking tape nothing what leaves residue when you're messing about with it just decent tape what doesn't bleed and you you do your preparation and your work what we try not to do is do any sanding if we can get away with it so we use a amorite rust removing gel if we've got any little bits and it's worked well for us for years and that saves doing your bit of sanding because once you start sanding you start to see it see it more and more on the paintwork so we try to do if possible use the gel get it to do its work and then carefully do the paintwork using proper uh, masking tape and it's worked well for us for years on our boat I know people can have chrome and that's fair enough but for us we're not fans of chrome so we won't have them on it won't have it on our boat but that means you have a bit of elbow grease we yeah, don't I do that <laughs> I do. you certainly do uh, we don't put any of this you know any of these lacquers on the brass work you know to, to uh, keep them clean because once it goes wrong it's a huge job when it starts to peel and you've got to prepare it all again and put more more of this lacquer on so we just keep our brasses as clean the best we can and it does look nice I love solid brass solid brass is what a traditional boat should have and it's a bonus that I like doing them. it is it says you do you do like doing them and we use something called marine shine it's like a paste it doesn't you know like some people use brass or and uh, that can drip and spill you know onto your paintwork and mark it this is more like a solid paste and is very easy to use and uh, we find uh, that's most accept acceptable we don't use any of the other things some people use shiny sinks it's called but it's gritty you know and that can that can mark your brass work so it's not for us so like I've said when we're doing our brasses or Bernadette's should I say mm -hmm. um, it's using the uh, marine shine and once done it looks superb
that's our boat all clean and pristine just like many other people do all the products we use are tried and tested so we know they work we don't get payments or we don't get gifts and promote things we tell you what works and that's it you know we've used the same things for years and that's what we'll keep doing right that video's done and uh, we hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you in the next one but for now as usual all i can say is tara <laughs>